Hi friends and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be me styling all of the outfits that I brought with me on my Europe trip this year in the summer. I am filming this once more because I accidentally deleted the intro that I initially made before I went on my trip when I was styling my outfits. So I've already been on my Europe trip. I went to France and I went to Italy and you're going to see all of the travel vlogs coming out soon. I'm so excited to have those out for you guys to watch. I think that they're going to turn out beautiful because I mean the countries themselves are so beautiful. Every place that we visited was so nice and so I needed to make sure that my outfits were obviously on par for Europe and specifically France and Italy. So I wanted to film this video showing you guys all the outfits that I created unfortunately because my intro was deleted. So was the initial first outfit that I styled which was for my first day in Paris. So I'm just going to pop up on the screen the clip that I got for my TikTok. If you want to follow my TikTok it's always linked down below as well as my Instagram but I also do many styling videos on there more so on TikTok than I actually do on YouTube. So if you like that content Again, go and check out my TikTok. I just have on this green corset top for root outfitters. I have on this skirt that I actually got from my mom. I'm not sure where it's from, but I think she might have gotten it in Europe when she used to live in Albania or Italy. And then I am wearing my New Balance sneakers because, of course, I need to have the comfiest shoes possible to wear since we walked so much in France and Italy both. So comfy shoes were a priority and then I also have on my crossbody bag and that is the first outfit for Paris. But yes, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Let's just get on into it. Okay, so now we're on day two of Paris. So day two, um, we're going to Montmartre, I believe. And we, well, what else are we doing that day? I have like my whole itinerary right here. Also, I have an entire page on Notion of like how I pack, how I plan my outfits, all of that stuff. So I'll like flash it on the screen here if you guys want to see it. But if you need it, I can share it with you. But yeah, so we're going to be in Montmartre and then we're going to go to Starbucks um, there because there's this like really gorgeous Starbucks there as would be in Paris, obviously. And then in the afternoon or the evening, we'll probably head to like Luxembourg Gardens, maybe do a little picnic and then go to Carat Cafe. Carat, I said that really weird. But yeah, basically Montmartre is what I'm um, planning for. So, hmm, I don't know. There are so many things I could wear. This red dress, this one in the front here. This is pretty Parisian and cute. Um, this is a longer dress but I probably won't go with that one. Let's try this one and see how we like it but I don't know I'm like feeling just a tiny bit iffy about it. Okay so this is the dress. I feel like it is very Parisian like it's super cute and feminine. I'm probably just gonna end up wearing my sneaks because we're gonna be walking so much and I just don't know if I'm gonna be wanting to walk in heels otherwise I'd probably wear these heels here um, I have my white ones too. I think both would look cute, like white or nude. Hmm. I don't know. But either way, are these ones? No, not these ones. Either way, I don't know if it's the best decision to wear heels. I mean, they're really short, like it's a short heel. I could bring them in my bag and then put them on for um, pictures, which is kind of extra, but I mean, we're in Paris, so I think I like the nude ones better. These are the nude ones, and then these are the white ones, but I think the nude ones are nicer. The white are a little bit too bright. I'm gonna do the nude, I'm gonna bring them with me, and then we will see. Or do this one. So I'm trying to think purse, maybe this one, or I could do the one that I had before. Um, I think both are cute. I like how this one has the red, so kind of does match. And it's again, it's like nice to have a bigger bag for all of your stuff and like to have it right here on you at all times. This is cute too though. 
and both do match. Either way, I'm gonna take both. So we'll see what I feel when we get there, but this is a good, this is a good amount of um, stuff. And then I also have this bag too that I got from Princess Polly. I thought it'd be a bit bigger, but, and a bit sturdier, but it's more of like a straw beach bag. But I was thinking of bringing this with me um, to places just to put my tripod that I have so that we can take pics and stuff. But we'll see, we have it, so it's nice, but yeah. Um, I think this is a good outfit. And then for jackets, again, I'm probably just gonna wear my denim jacket. But yeah, I think this is a cute day two of Paris outfit in Montmartre. So I'm good with this. I'm gonna go with this one, so that's day two done. Okay, so that is day two of Paris. Now we gotta go to day three, and day three I'm going to the Louvre. I'm going to Shakespeare and Co, which I'm so excited about. That's like my number one bucket list thing, of course, is a bookstore. Um, and um, I think that's pretty much it. I think those are the big things, right? Let's see. Yeah, and then we might go to Sakuku and uh, have a picnic or something, but I'm thinking, but I'm not sure, I'm thinking I might do this white romper from Princess Polly. The only thing is, is that this was put in the wash and it kind of shrunk a little bit. So I don't really know if it's going to be too like short. So let's try it on and see. And then if it's too short, we'll figure something else out. Okay, this is the romper. I feel like it is a bit short, but I don't know, like in the back, it's not, like it, it does go down. Um, and it's cute, like I do like it. I think I might go with it. I think I might go with it. I can wear it with my sneakers for sure. Um, I think I can wear it with my sneakers. Um, could do heels, but I don't want to make my legs look any longer than they are because then this will look shorter if my legs are longer. Um, there's also like my gladiator sandals that I can wear, but I feel like that's a little bit too beachy. So I think I'm gonna go with my sneaks. Um, I could do Stan Smith or New Balance. I think, I think New Balances are winning this war. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna stick with my New Balances for this trip and probably not even bring my Stan Smiths at this point, but yeah. Okay, so I put on my trusted bag, which I feel like I'm gonna be wearing the same bag every day, and my sneaks, and I like it. I think it's a very touristy outfit. It'll be good if it's hot, especially. Um, definitely a little bit short, but not, not like revealing short. I feel like it's just my comfort level. Short is a little bit, it's at the boundary a little bit, and maybe stepping over a bit, but it's not bad at all. I do really like it. I think it's cute. And I think that this this outfit in particular, I wanted to wear white outside of the Shakespeare and Co. bookstore because it's all green. And I thought the white and the green would look really nice together. So that's kind of my reasoning for why I'm wearing this. But yeah, this is outfit number three for Paris. And I'm so happy with this. And I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So our next day in Paris is the day that we're going to be mostly just chilling, honestly. I think we're just gonna have like a little picnic. Um, there's a farmer's market near the Eiffel Tower. We'll probably get some good food and just sit outside the Eiffel Tower and enjoy, have some breakfast in the morning. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll head to the airport for Nice by about 3.30, I think, because our flight's at 6.30. So about three hours, maybe two hours, who knows, um, beforehand. So I think I'm gonna just be wearing something super cash. Um, probably denim shorts is what I'm thinking. I have my denim shorts here from Abercrombie. Let me take this off here. And I just need to see like what top I wanna wear with these shorts. I could also wear this sweater. It's like a sweater without sleeves type thing. That would be cute in Paris, I feel like. I don't know if it'll be too hot though. Let me try on this and the denim shorts and then if I don't like this top, I'll switch out the denim shorts for something else, let's see. I think it's cute, I think it's super cash. I think it's the vibe that I was going for. Um, I think I like it. I, 
I never know how I feel about this type of top on me because I feel like it makes me look a bit bigger and like wider, which I don't love. But maybe if I tucked it in, that would be cute actually. I like tucked this in like that. I think that would be cute. So I think I'm just gonna put like a sports bra or something underneath it and like tuck this in. And then I think that this is gonna be my um, day four in Paris cash outfit, which I like, I like this a lot. All right, perfect, so that is Paris done. Let me add to my Notion page. Now we are in Nice, so I, the first day we're gonna stay in Nice, we're just gonna, you know, do, thing, do, the, do the Nice things. It's the south of France, so we're mostly just gonna be on the beaches, you know, we're gonna go to, I think it's like the castle of Nice to see Nice from um, a higher vantage point and then the Corsalaya farmer's market and just look around Nice, have food, go to the beach, swim. It's gonna be a very relaxed day in Nice. So let me pull up the weather in Nice. Let's hope it stays this way because the first day is leading up to the days that we're there, it's going to rain. But the day that we get there, which is the second, um, it is 28 degrees and sunny and it feels like 30 and same with Monday. We're gonna be there Sunday, Monday. So let's hope that it stays like that. Obviously the first thing that I'm going to be wearing is a bikini underneath every single outfit. I was thinking of wearing this kind of long beachy dress as my um, niece outfit. I don't know if it'll be too hot it might be a little bit uh, too hot, but I just feel like it's such a cute outfit and I'll just have my bathing suit underneath it. And then if it is too hot, I can always just wear shorts and something over it. But I do really like this, so I'm gonna try this on and see how it looks and then we'll make our final decision. Okay, so this is the dress and then I have my gladiator sandals. I have white and I have black and I'm not sure which ones I like best. Oh, let me see. The dress is a little bit long. That's the only thing that's gonna be really annoying. I might have to like tie it at the end and see. Um, but yeah, it's a bit long. So I guess it doesn't even matter what sandals I'm wearing. Um, these are the white. And then these are the black. I think I'm gonna go with black. Maybe I'll bring both, I don't know. But I think for now I'm gonna do black. And then I'm just gonna wear my little straw tote bag, super beachy and fun. And I love these sunnies that I have from Princess Polly. I'm probably just gonna wear these the entire time with every outfit, but this is the niece outfit. Very flowy and comfy. Um, yeah, the only thing is it's a bit long for me, so I might be tripping over it, but I'll probably just tie it up and we'll be fine. But I really like this. It's very, very south of France, in my opinion. So that is the first south of France outfit. I'm thinking I might do... Hmm. We have some stuff over here. So we're gonna be hopping on a bus the next day from Nice, and then we're gonna go to Easy and Monaco, I think. So I think I probably wanna just wear my denim shorts for that day and a nice top, just because we're gonna be traveling so much, so I think it's gonna be easier on me to do so. So again, I'm gonna be wearing the same denim shorts. I love these, these are the dad shorts from Abercrombie, I highly recommend if you're looking for denim shorts, they fit so well. And then I think that one white top that I showed you guys before, I think I'm gonna go and do this. We'll try this on. And of course, bikini underneath. Um, and we'll see. I think this is gonna be good though. I feel like my little gladiators will be perfect with this. I could, again, wear my New Balances, but I think I'll just wear these since it's gonna be a beach day. <laughs> and then, again, same straw tote bag. And that is my Nice Day 2 outfit. I feel like this is a perfect beachy outfit. You'll see my like little um, bikini underneath it, which I think will be really, really cute. But yeah, I think this is perfect for the South of France. That is 
for salsa friends i'm gonna add all of my outfits into my notion page and then we can move on to italy so let's do venice that's the first place we go to so on the tuesday after nice we have a flight at about three so we'll probably be at the airport at noon so we're not going to really be doing much in nice um in that day and then we're going to be arriving in venice at i think about eight something 8 30 so we're not going to be doing anything in venice that day either so that day is just going to be a travel day i'll just have a travel outfit for that day but the first day of Venice, I was thinking I was going to wear this set that I have from American Eagle. Super cute. It's just these flowy pants and then this nice little top. I have a white version as well that I wore in Florida and I really like it. So I'm gonna try this on, see how I like it and then go from there. And then this again, I can wear my shoes and I can also wear my black gladiator sandals either work i mean i probably prefer my black gladiator sandals but we'll see i'm gonna wear those for now but i have my shoes as an option because i'm bringing them anyways i don't know what bag to wear mm -hmm. this one. so, i mean this one's fine and i also have this black bag as well that i can bring and then we can decide there but i think both are cute so that is pretty much the Venice look, and I'm really happy with it. It's so comfortable. I love this set so much. So it's a win, win, win. And I just feel like this is cute for Venezia. So yeah, now I have to do my second Venice outfit, which I have to peruse and let you guys know. Okay, so I have this really cute top that I want to style. It's from Princess Polly that I recently got, and I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. Um, I just have to find like cute bottoms to style it with. So, so I have like longer pants too, but I just don't know if it's gonna be too hot. Like this and this could look really cute together, but I feel like I might be really hot in that. So maybe I should do my shorts again. Um, let's see, I also have a black denim skirt that I could do but I don't know if that would look good together mm. I don't know if I like that I could do with the shorts again maybe mm. let's try let's try it on with the shorts and the and this leather top and then We'll like switch out the bottoms if we don't like them and then this top is great because i can like decide how exposed i want it to be so i can wear it like this or i can button it up and make it a full top or i can go halfway like really whatever i sort of prefer so for now i'll button it up buttoned up that's what it looks like so now let's see for the pants i think this is cute i feel like it makes it more casual i can definitely dress this up and use this top as one of my like night out tops too with a skirt or long pants but i think for the daytime i think that this is really nice and really chill like i think the second day in venice will be pretty relaxed so i like it i think it's cute and i think i'll just wear my new balances with it just make things simple and easy now we're on to florence i think one of the days that i'm in florence i might wear this set that i have it's this skirt with this um top it's from backyard roses which is tess christine on youtube's um clothing brand so i think this might be one of the ones that i wear but i'm also like hmm so I also have Rome, so I'm like, do I want to wear that in Rome? Do I want to wear it in Florence? Mm, I am feeling like I'm running out of outfits though. I could also wear this in one of these places. This is cute too. 
Honestly, maybe I'll wear this on my first day of Florence. I think I'm gonna wear this. This is from Aritzia, so let's put this one on and see how it looks. I also brought this to Vegas with me as well, and it was really cute. And then as for shoes, I'll probably be walking quite a bit in Florence, so I think, again, I'm just gonna go with my New Balances. I feel like that's the safest option, but I do have like that pair of heels if I wanted to wear that as well or gladiator sandals, but I think I'm just gonna go with my shoes for now. And then for this one, I'll probably just have my tiny purse because I do like this one. Um, we'll see, I mean, yeah. I think I'm gonna do this for Florence. So let's put this on and see what it looks like. This is for day two in Florence. My cousin's actually going to meet me in Florence or I'm gonna meet them in Bologna. I don't know which, uh, which exactly we're gonna do, but I'm probably just gonna be with my family for the majority of the day, so just something light and comfy and cash, but I don't think I'm gonna be really snapping like a crazy amount of pictures or anything like that. I just wanna be with my family. But yeah, I think this will be cute, so let's put this on. And then again, shoes. So hard, because the streets there just are not meant for sandals. Um, I have my brown Aldo sandals if I want. And again, my sneaks, both work. Um, whatever honestly works best in terms of comfort at this point because it's going to be like the last one of the last days so i'll probably be so tired by this point anyways and i don't really think i'll care too much about this stuff <laughs> but yeah this yeah i mean as predicted the sandals look cuter and then the shoes are just comfier but either works We'll see how it goes, but I like the set. It's really, really cute. And then in terms of bags, um, I mean, I have my brown bag, but I also have my crossbody. Oops. Yeah, it looks fine. This or my, or my brown bag, I feel like look cute. <laughs> Okay, that is the Lawrence. Now we're on to the last two days of Rome. I have one Rome outfit, just need one more, and then that is that. Let me write this one down. So for Rome, depending on the day that we go to the Trevi Fountain, it might be the first day and it might be the second day, but I have an outfit that I want to wear specifically for the Trevi Fountain, so I'm just going to show you that right now, and then if it's the first day or the second day, we'll see when we get there, but this is the outfit. I got this off of Princess Polly just recently, this nice um, dress and then this shrug. So I'm gonna put this on and show you guys how it looks. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Love this outfit, it's so cute. And then again, I can wear my, I can wear these heels that I wore before. Probably put these on for this, but I have my shoes just in case that's what I wanna wear. So that's what these look like. Cute. And then come with us. And we can also wear. Mm, yeah, I think I like this one best. Yeah, so that is one of the Rome outfits. Really cute and classy. Good dinner outfit as well. I can't wait to take this off because I'm really hot. Oh my gosh. And then I need one more Rome outfit to go. I could just wear this dress it's long and you know covers everything so maybe I'll wear this I feel like this is a safe choice um, otherwise yeah I'm not sure what else I could wear to be honest so let's just do this one for now and we'll see that's this one probably wear the same heels or the new balances and I think either of my bags works with this, whatever works best, but yeah. That is pretty much everything for France and Italy on a day-to-day -day basis, so super happy that I got that done. That is pretty much this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am so excited to be in Europe. I'm so excited to wear these outfits in France and Italy. It's going to be great. Stay tuned for the travel vlogs for France and Italy. I'm very excited to just 
capture all of the memories that I'm going to be making in the next two weeks and share them with you guys. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the content that's coming your way. A lot of European summer content, which I'm very happy about. So again, hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next one. Also, let me know what outfit was your favorite in the comments down below. Bye.